What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time we're taking a look at our boy DSP's daily rap after his disastrous day of streaming. Resident Dent Evil was a failure and our boy Phil still hasn't beat the game after God knows how many playthroughs. He should have been done this like two playthroughs again but he's trying to milk it I guess. And secondly, one tip obviously was a disaster. A boy Phil walked away with 20 something bucks and uh, yeah, it was not good. And he spent most of his night begging for support and positivity. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see what our boy Phil has to say. It's a lengthy uh, daily rap. It's like 13 minutes. I'm not sure if I'm going to go through the whole thing. Uh, you know, anytime Phil has a low tip day, his, his daily raps get longer and longer. So let's play. Let's Let's see what he has to say. Good evening everyone, Phil here and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Tuesday the 10th of January 2023. A day that I went into feeling kind of confident and honestly a day that I've left uh, not feeling so confident. Allow me to explain why. So today on the Level 1 podcast... You don't need to explain why Phil, we all know you made uh, like 65 bucks in tips today. And uh, you know you couldn't spend your nights playing WWE Champions. We, we all know Phil, we, we know, you don't have to explain it, we all know. Podcast, we had a pretty chill time. First thing that we discussed was obviously the upcoming schedule, which kind of is up in the air, because basically this weekend now is opening up. Why? Because I finished all the ongoing playthroughs from 2022, and we're now heading into the new month with all new time slots and, and ability to start up new games. And as we talk about what people want... Um... By the way, let me translate, translate that real quickly. So he is heading into his dead zone time where he refuses to spend any money on anything and he you know wants to play old retro games games like he did in the summer and expect a lot of tips and that's not happening so that's why our boy phil is uh, not feeling confident there doesn't seem to be much of a certain uh agreement let's put it that way uh for example i think everyone this month wants to see me play the dead space remake but that's the end of the month right Outside of that, most of the other games that are coming out this month, people aren't really sold on. Personally, I'm not sold on Forspoken. I don't think it's very interesting. Um, One Piece Odyssey is coming out this Friday, and tonight on the late stream we played the demo, which was going to be a test to see how much interest there was going to be for it. Okay? Um, Resident Evil 1 Remake is ending. We only have maybe an hour left of gameplay. Um... Which kind of leaves a little bit of a, a gap in the schedule. You know, what do people want to see? And then, of course, keep in mind the Viewer's Choice playthrough is coming up. You guys have been voting on it for just under a week. When I come back from my break uh, later on this week, we will determine what won the poll. And that playthrough will start this weekend. Okay? So, basically, we got a lot of stuff ending and a lot of stuff starting up. And the question is, what's it going to be? Um, so, we talked a little bit about that. Some ideas. One idea that people had was... When I finish Resident Evil 1 Remake, maybe start another Resident Evil game. Another classic one. Because I played Resident Evil 1 Remake, and then I played Resident Evil 0, and then I played Code Veronica X all within about a one-year time frame <clears throat> about eight years ago. People really seem to enjoy the Resident Evil 1 Remake. Admittedly, the viewership is usually good. The views on YouTube are pretty good. The support's okay. Some days it's actually been really high, and some days it's just kind of been all right. So, I'm not complaining overall for a retro game. Pretty darn good, okay? So, maybe we should do another Resident Evil game, right? Uh, one thing that we're currently testing is Need for Speed Unbound, right? I played that yesterday, and we're going to do one more stream of it on Thursday to determine your interest in it. Um, honestly, unless there's a big turnaround on Thursday, I doubt we're going to continue with it. Uh, from what I saw, the views on YouTube aren't that great. I haven't really had much of a demand to continue it, and even the support yesterday on the premiere stream wasn't that good. Um, a lot of people saying they're turned off by the hipster nature and the really bad writing as opposed to the, the, the actual gameplay, which is a shame that the driving gameplay of a driving game is good, but the writing of the game could tank it and people not wouldn't be interested in it because of that, right? Um, in addition, I announced on the podcast this morning the whole three videos that I made a Need for, for Speed Unbound, excuse me, had all been claimed on YouTube for music. So it's either I play it completely silently with no music to avoid that, or else... I'm going to need buy-in from people who want that playthrough to say, hey, we will show up and we'll support the stream since I'm making nothing whatsoever on the on-demand videos on YouTube. Again, Phil, yesterday when you were going over the YouTube uh, view issue, you said it doesn't impact you because you create gourmet content 
for your dents and you are uh, shielded by what YouTube does to you, right? You specifically said that. You said ad revenue, you make little on ad revenue. But yet, when it's to your advantage and you can use it to, you know, to try to convince your dents to give you money and tips, you do. So you, it can't be both though. You can't say that, you know, you, you, your support comes from your dents giving you money from the charity they give you. And you know, YouTube doesn't impact you, right? You even went on to say that you can pack up and leave YouTube whenever you want it and go somewhere else and you wouldn't be impacted. You specifically said that Phil. So you can't have it both ways. You can't say it doesn't impact you. Ad revenue is low. And then when something gets claimed and you get $0, from your ad revenue. You can't sit there and say, I need more money because I'm not getting any ad revenue, Phil. You see how that works? You see how that works, Phil? And apparently, Phil, you still haven't realized that, you know, the internet is the internet and you can always go back and rewind videos and see what you previously said, Phil. Um, so right now there's a lot of uncertainty when it comes to what I'll be playing this weekend. Allow me to go over what happened today on the streams and then we'll talk about that, okay? So the first gameplay stream today was Resident Evil 1 Remake. I thought I was going to beat the game. What I didn't foresee is that in this version of Resident Evil 1, they have extended the length of the final areas of the game. In, in particular, this underground cave system where you have to do all this stuff with spiders and flipping of switches and crushing of boxes. And, you know, it's a lot longer than I remember it from the first game. And, of course, there's the whole, uh, I think it's supposed to be like the Spencer daughter who's mutated down there also that's different that was not in the original game it's a new addition so it extends the length of the game even the final area the underground lab is very different in this than it was in the original resident evil one so because of that i thought we were going to finish it in a three hour stream and we didn't okay <clears throat> so i do need one more session of that and we're going to do that this weekend probably saturday night to wrap it up it should only take about an hour which means we'll probably have an hour to just do some open q a or whatever um the late stream tonight was One Piece Odyssey's demo. Now, remember, originally, I thought One Piece Odyssey actually came out today. I was mistaken. The game actually comes out this coming Friday. And this is the demo that previews it for two hours. And then if you play through the whole demo, you save your game. And that save will carry over into the, the real game when you buy it. So we played it for two hours. Here's my thoughts on One Piece Odyssey. The graphics are really good. On the Xbox Series X, smooth 60 frames. Looks just like the anime. Um, no complaints whatsoever. Music, outstanding. Sounds really awesome cinematic, like an orchestra playing this epic music. Honestly, I thought the music might have actually been too good for the game. It felt like every fight was a major boss. Like, wow, so over the top with this music. It's pretty crazy, but I mean, I really liked it too. Um, the story, so far it's interesting. It is a standalone plot. You don't need prerequisite knowledge of One Piece to really like it. At the same time, it was really cool because I knew most of the characters already. I was like, ah, this is cool to recognize them and understand their abilities and everything. Um... And so far, it seems like it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, gameplay. It's exactly what I look for in an RPG. Turn-based, Japanese-centric, um, with some twists. So there's a rock, paper, scissors system between power, speed, and technique-based fighters and enemies. There's also elements, fire, I believe, ice, and lightning that all kind of counter each other as well, which is nice. Um, and there's even this knockback mechanic where if you have a weaker enemy and you hit it, it could fall back into other enemies during combat and cause combos that do additional damage and maybe even wipe out an entire party. That happened one time tonight. I didn't even mean to do it. And I hit the enemy and it fell back into three more and just boom, everyone just died at once, which is really neat. So after playing it for two hours, I loved it. All right. Like absolutely loved it. it to me, this is on par with a game like Dragon Quest XI, Final Fantasy VII, which we just played last summer. And those playthroughs were some of my favorites I've ever done. So to me, I'm like ecstatic. I'm pumped. This is great. Sadly, my viewing audience didn't agree with me. I would say out of the 300 people that were here tonight for One Piece Odyssey's demo, it was about a 50-50 split. Half of them were like, oh, this is neat. I like One Piece. I like that anime. I like JRPGs. This is right up my alley. Great. Can't wait to see you continue the playthrough. The other half were like, wow, this is boring. It's turn-based. We don't like that. You know, so basically it was split down the middle. Um, honestly, I'm not surprised. That's kind of how my audience is. They, not everyone in my audience likes the more slower-based, turn-based combat of JRPGs. Here's, herein lies the problem. The reason that I've been able to do JRPGs in the past is because I have a buy-in from that audience that likes them. That they will show up, interact with me, engage with the streams, and support the streams. 
with playthroughs like Final uh, Final Fantasy VII this last summer, playthroughs such as Dragon Quest XI, <clears throat> also uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon, okay? People absolutely showed up for the long term and supported those streams, alright? Tonight was the demo of One Piece Odyssey, and I made like 20 bucks, and that was it, and you know, that's disheartening. It's not just about money, don't get me wrong, it's definitely not. But the thing is, if I'm going to purchase this game... It's all about money, Phil. Please stop with the with, with this nonsense. No one believes it. Not even your dents believe it. So please stop. Game, ...and I'm going to play it at length. People are saying the story is 20 to 30 hours long with side content. The game could be upwards of 40 or more hours. You're talking... This is going to be something I'll be playing for a month to two months, depending. Okay? I need to have buy-in from my audience that likes this style of content that they're going to show up, engage, and support. Now, you don't have to be there live, but even then, during those other playthroughs, some people would actually support behind the scenes and do tips and stuff and say, hey, you know, shout this out during your stream for that game or whatever because I really like it. I will need that buy-in. I can't commit to a 40-plus hour long playthrough that I'm going to have low attendance, low engagement, low support, and basically I'm playing it for myself. That's I, As much as I love JRPGs, I cannot play a 40-plus hour game just for myself. This has to be something that there is support for. Um, and honestly, tonight, I, I thought we were going to hit it out of the park. I thought because I haven't played a new style JRPG in a very long time. <clears throat> and even because we were supposed to play it today. And okay, so it's the night stream instead of the day stream, but I still got to play it for a couple of hours. It was the perfect introduction to the game to know what it was. I thought it was going to actually have a lot more interest and a lot more support than it actually got tonight. And that was a little disheartening. When you have half your audience saying, don't play it, that's what happened. Half the stream audience was like, nah, don't buy it, don't play it. And I was like, what the hell? Like, I thought this was a dead set playthrough that people really wanted to see. And now I'm seeing otherwise, okay? <clears throat> so here's the thing. I'm now left with all these questions. Need for Speed Unbound doesn't seem like it's a, a playthrough people are loving that much. We're going to try it again on Thursday. That's a make or break stream. If it goes well and people support it and people show up and ask for more, I'll do more. If not, that'll be it for Need for Speed and we got to find a replacement, okay? Friday, I was going to play One Piece Odyssey, but I need your feedback now. I've already asked for it on those videos where people are going to watch on demand. Are people willing to support that playthrough? And if the answer is nah, then I'm not going to do it. And it sucks because I really want to play One Piece. I want you to make this as clear as possible. Exact kind of style of gameplay I like cool, you know, IP to tie into that kind of gameplay, and I have history with One Piece, I like it, I feel like this would be an epic, fun playthrough for about a month or two that we could all enjoy and chill when I play, but I need that, that commitment from people, and, uh, I don't know, I don't know if we're gonna get it by Friday. I need okay? that money, I really, really do, I need so that already, money to pay my bills. So already, that's two playthroughs that are uncertain, and then, I am gonna finish Resident Evil 1 Remake over the weekend, uh, it, do people wanna see me do Resident Evil 0 or Code Veronica X? right away after that uh i need I, I basically need answers i would really love to hear everyone's feedback on this if you could please uh, you know tomorrow's my day off if you could comment on this video give me your thoughts on what you think and we could go from there but i really need feedback on this one all right so here's the deal i'm not here tomorrow all right tomorrow i'm off i would hope you would take the opportunity if you have not caught up on all the stuff this week including the conclusion of god of war ragnarok including the conclusion of pokemon scarlet the Game of the Year awards, the most disappointing games countdowns, checking out Need for Speed Unbound, checking out the One Piece demo here, all of that. Enjoy, and please leave comments all over it, knowing your opinions. I, want, I need your opinions on all that stuff. When I come back on Thursday, the main gameplay stream will be Need for Speed Unbound, and that will essentially be the decision stream. Do we continue with that playthrough or not based on attendance, engagement, and support, and feedback? All right? Thursday night will be more Warzone. Warzone's like the one thing people are loving, and I'm definitely keeping in the rotation. But outside of Warzone, everything else right now is pretty uncertain, okay? Originally, I was going to say 100% we're playing One Piece on Friday when it comes out, but now I'm not so sure. I need to know what I should do, and I need your feedback on that, <clears throat> okay? Um, Friday's up in the air. If we don't do One Piece on Friday, what I will probably do is see what won the poll for Viewer's Choice, and we'll just start Viewer's Choice on Friday as the first stream. And right now, it still looks like it's going to be Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Uh, Friday night, I want to do Friday Night Fights. I actually want to do 
uh, old school Street Fighter. I haven't done it in a while. I feel it's perfect for variety right now because we have the opportunity to do it before we start doing major new releases. So Friday Night Fights comes back this Friday. Saturday, literally I have no clue what we're doing on Saturday. Is it One Piece? Is it the Viewer's Choice game? Is it Need for Speed Unbound? Are we doing something different? I have absolutely no clue. Friday night, I would, or excuse me, Saturday night, I would like to finish Resident Evil 1 Remake, because uh, there's only about an hour left, and then we can maybe just do some chill Q&A. So then what we have is the rest of the week. We'll, we definitely will be doing Viewer's Choice. We'll definitely be doing more Warzone. But that's really it. That's all I know. We need to come to a, a, an agreement when I come back on Thursday of what exactly is that you guys want to see me play. Do you want to see me do something new off Game Pass? Do you want to see me go back and try to try one of these games that I missed out on in the last few months? And certainly, if One Piece is not the game you want, then it's definitely not a turn-based RPG that you want. So that's not happening. Um, so what do we do? You know, right now, I am confused about what we're doing, you know, after just a couple days this week. So we're going to figure out live together on the fly. But, uh... I hope that you'll think about it, and I hope that you'll share your feedback with me, okay? I really need help right now to determine what we should do, as much, much feedback as possible. Literally, you can't go wrong giving me feedback right now, whether it's yes, play it, don't play this, do this, here's a completely off-the-wall suggestion. Everything is appreciated right now because I am completely uncertain about what we're doing in just a few days, okay? Yeah, except if someone's going to be critical. Remember on your uh, One Piece Odyssey video with someone posted, they said they didn't like the game, they found it boring. What did you tell them? You basically told them to shut up. That's what you said, Phil. That's the feedback you want, huh? Thank you for a great week. I had a great streaming week this week, and I'm going to try to have a good day tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a very hectic day for me. I've got a lot of appointments and things i got to do. I'm going to try to make the best of it. But in the meantime, I hope you have a chill, fun, safe day. I'll see you all on Thursday on the Level 1 Podcast, and I guess we will reconvene and start to talk about these games of the future. Sound good? Thank you all. Have a good night. See you Thursday. Peace out, everybody. Alrighty, folks. I let most of that play out because I just wanted to show you guys how Phil is just reverting back to his original form, and everything is about money, and that's, you know, that's the main point. And how, you know, he uses these type of streams like the pod, the, the daily rap to, you know, put out the whale call, <laughs> as I like to call it, and say, hey, Dents, I need your help. I need money. And of course, he plays the games and he can't be honest with people. You know, I, I say it all the time. I was like, you know what? If you want to be if you want to be greedy and you want to, uh, you know, scam people and all that stuff, at least be honest about it. You know what I mean? I would respect you a lot more if you were honest. I would respect you a lot more if you just came out and said, hey, you know what? It is about money. And that's the most important thing. I would at least give you more respect for that. I would say, okay, well, at least he's being honest. You know what I mean? But of course, Phil can't be honest. You know, he has to play these stupid games. And I am, of course, here to call him out whenever he does it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.